Holy Faith Media, your home for Catholic news. Cardinal Pell awaits verdict after prosecutor stumbles in appeal hearing. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe. The two-day hearing in Cardinal George Pell's appeal before the Victorian Court of Appeal against his conviction for alleged child sex abuse in Melbourne, Australia, in the 1990s ended Thursday with a positive impression for the defense. According to press reports, prosecutor Christopher Boyce bumbled and stumbled through his presentation on Thursday afternoon, while Chief Justice Ann Ferguson, Court President Justice Chris Maxwell, and Justice Mark Weinberg made several remarks that appeared favorable to the Cardinal's version. The judges reserved their decision, and Cardinal Pell returned to prison, where he will celebrate his 78th birthday in 23 hours per day solitary confinement. He has already spent three months of his six-year sentence in a maximum security prison and will not be eligible for parole before having completed the three years and eight months. If his appeal is retained, he would be set free immediately, unless the judge is ordered to retrial. If he is again found guilty, he could go before the High Court, which in contrast to the Appeals Court, is known to be wary of overturning popular jury verdicts. The Appeals Court decision is expected to be delivered within the next two weeks, although no date has been given. Photos were circulated in the world media showing Cardinal Pell, the former head of Pope Francis's Council of Advisors, being led handcuffed into the court. The most aggressive headlines called him a convicted pedophile, and the liberal media insisted that the case for prosecution was convincingly set out on Thursday. Pell himself has never ceased to proclaim his innocence. His defense was based on the fact that the verdict was unreasonable because the only surviving witnesses in the case was not reliable and because there were two great irregularities in his trial, making the jury's verdict of guilt unsafe. The Cardinal's defense was presented Wednesday by a renewed legal team led by Sydney-based Brett Walker, who argued that the jury was badly mistaken in finding Cardinal Pell guilty and that there are 13 obstacles to his conviction that should have been taken into account. Speaking to judges who, during the last weeks, have been going deep into the documents in the case, who also went to visit the cathedral where the alleged abuse took place, Walker underscored all the impossibilities that make the victim's witness unworthy of belief. One of his main arguments was that Cardinal Pell, at the time one of the assaults was said to have taken place, was meeting parishioners at the western door of St. Patrick's Cathedral in Melbourne, at a great distance from the sacristy, in the eyes of the law. Walker said that if he was at the western door, then the laws of physics mean this is literally and logically impossible for the offending to have occurred. Walker added that the surviving choir boy was both a liar and a fantasist. For more on the story, please follow the link in the description to LifeSite News.